All right. Hello, everyone. It's Joseph here, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And in today's video, we are going to be doing a quick tutorial on how you can make GTA 4 on the PC a bit more stable. Unlike episodes from the City, GTA 4 does not have the option to natively use more than 2 gigabytes of RAM. And that is likely why you are experiencing many more crashes once you modify the game. So this one here is the main one, LAA204.zip. This is the main one that you would want to use. Okay, now we can put this anywhere on your desktop or your PC, but I'm going to be putting it in a new folder. And then once that opens up, we can open up the folder there, extract it to two. Now you can use one more or seven zip to open up the file and then click run as administrator. Now you'll have to find your GTA 4 directory. So for me, it's Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Grand Theft Auto 4, GTA 4, GTA 4 EXE. And if it's not ticked already, make sure you tick this box, which will enable the application we just downloaded to use more than two gig gigabytes of memory. All right, so click save, and then it should generate a file in this folder momentarily. Okay, so exit out of that. Okay, th so there it is. Once you exit out of the application, there should be a settings file type SAV in there. Now you can delete the zip, but you should you should keep this. You need you will need to use this as long as you have GTA 4. Okay, so keep this, and you can exit out of that. So I hope this tutorial has been helpful. Now I haven't used this one before, but you will need .NET Framework 3.5 or newer. Okay, so make sure you do have that too, as you can see that is a requirement but you should already have that if you have the newest update from Windows. But apart from that, um, I hope this tutorial has been helpful. This is specifically so GTA 4 does not crash because it does use a lot of memory, especially if you use modifications in it, because it hasn't natively used more than two gigabytes of RAM, unlike episodes from Liberty City. So again, I hope this tutorial has been helpful. If you have any questions for me, please be sure to let me know down in the comments below. As always, hope you have enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Peace.